All right, this is from uh, Jonathan Bird's Blue World. It's a program that's on um, the public TV channels, and it's very, very good. And this is about the uh, blue holes of Andros. Now, blue holes are all over the world. They're, um, they're in the ocean, they're on islands, they're everywhere. And, um, and they are, I believe, part of the, the Earth's living system. Now, here's what it is. They're going down through and they're diving through these caves. And as they go through it, 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 it's, it the, the architecture and the, uh, the anatomy is identical to uh, uh, the, the human digestive system. All right, now I'm going to play this so you can see what's going on here. And it's a lot deeper than you might imagine. Periodically, Mike turns to make sure we're still here. Okay, pay attention to this. This is the, the digestive system. The bottom system. looks like it's sand, but it's actually a deep layer of silt. While Tim hovers high above the bottom to keep from kicking up silt, I perform a little experiment. Down on the bottom, I plunge my arm into the silt up to my shoulder, and it's even deeper than that. This is a layer of decomposing leaves and other organic stuff. The decomposition creates hydrogen sulfide, a deadly gas that smells like rotting eggs. The water is saturated with hydrogen sulfide, and I can smell it in the water that seeps around the edge of my mask. Wow. Described as spooky. All right, now check this out. They're the coming out of this blue hole. The fissure into the blue above. Now, deep in the blue hole, I, I believe, mean an is the ocean gut. Blue hole, formed just like an inland blue hole 20,000 years ago during an ice age when the ocean levels were much lower. Speculation. Once the ocean levels rose, this blue hole ended up underwater. That's the theory. Now, check this out. This is. But this blue hole connects through this a, a vast labyrinth system. of caves to the inland blue holes. And as we emerge into the open ocean, something looks weird. When the tide goes out, all the water from inside the caves gets sucked out into the ocean, bringing with it silt and hydrogen sulfide from the inland blue holes. It forms clouds near the bottom with a distinct line between the clear ocean water above and the silty hydrogen sulfide layer below. What you're seeing here are the decomposing remains of forest vegetation which have passed entirely through the caves and out into the ocean. You're looking at poop. Everywhere I find what look like strands of mucus floating in the water. They don't look it's like it, they are. It's most mucus secreted by the coral in response to the caustic hydrogen sulfide. Not. It's That's stuck on everything, including this gorgonian, which has closed all its polyps to protect itself from it's the hydrogen sulfide. mucus sulfide. membranes are secreting that. As the tide carries the toxic water away, the corals will go back to normal. All right, this is an article about blue holes by um, a lady here, uh, Brianne Kirby. Fabulous article. You should read this. This is a, a virtual... Uh, uh, and she actually says this. She feels like she's a, a capsule floating through a human digestive system, all the way from the uh, mouth to the anus. Hold on one second. I'll read exactly it. Right, here's a little more. It says, thinking of the specific topology of the blue hole helps me visualize the specific topology of the human gastrointestine. From the mouth to the anus, the GI tract is divided into all these different reasons. She says, zipping by the parts we don't care about much. The diver quickly swims beyond the sandy beach, yada, yada, yada. Through the mouth, the throat, the stomach, we suddenly come to a full stop when we're surrounded by folds and peaks of the small intestine. And then she goes on to the villa, and I mean, it's everything's there. Everything is there. It should be looked at. These things are alive, and the ones in Russia are, are, are dead. Now, I don't know if that's a bad thing. There's not necessarily, because, I, I, I've, you know, in the Isle of... Uh, you know, all of the giant stuff, that's heavily lithified. It's been around for a bazillion years, I guess. I don't know how long, but it's quite a while. And the one in Russia is, is dying now. So some die, some live. I don't know. Maybe the whole thing's dying. I have no clue. 
and it, but it, that was covered by tundra and ice and so forth at one time and capped off it might have been dead for a long time and now it's just able to vent off so it just needs to be looked at things need to be taken in a, in a rational understanding way but there's something's got to be looked at here because it's it's you know we all live on a planet it's like there's only one i know of.